Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over gym fragrances. These are the fragrances I use when I go to the gym. I know for a lot of people, wearing scents to the gym can be kind of controversial. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't wear them to the gym, you shouldn't wear them to job interviews. Um, but I personally do wear fragrance to the gym. But when I wear fragrance, I try to wear things that are going to be more skin scent like or things that aren't going to be overtly strong. So I would never wear um, very dense, heavy fragrances. I would never wear extremely sickly sweet fragrances, anything that's patchouli heavy, anything that is just going to be overpowering or oody or just woody or ambery or resinous -y, things like that. I try to avoid scents that are in the line of those things and try to go for things that are more airy, more light, more clean smelling, more citrusy. Um, and that's what we're gonna be going over today. I have to say I am guilty, extremely guilty of wearing fragrance to the gym. I love to have the smell of something on me. I feel like almost naked if I go out somewhere and I don't have like a scent on. And that's no exception for the gym. I have to have some sort of scent. And these are five fragrances with one honorary mention that I think are really, effective at giving me a scent at the gym but without being overpowering overbearing and they're not going to offend anybody these are honestly safe wares that you can wear to the gym i've worn these multiple times to the gym um, and they're non-offensive i've never had anyone give me side eye or death stares or complained about me wearing fragrance these heat up on the skin so beautifully which is another reason why i love them for the gym because these are quite quiet fragrances, but they do heat up and give you a really beautiful aura around you while you heat up um, and work out. And yeah, the first one that we're gonna be talking about is one from Dossier actually, and this is Musky Musk. So this is their take on Juliana Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I have owned Juliana Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I gave it away after I got this one because I didn't see any point of having two fragrances that were identical. Um, I gave it to a girl that I worked with whose boyfriend is actually really sensitive to fragrance. Um, I gave her that one because she loves fragrance but can't wear fragrance because of him. And that one actually really worked out for her and her boyfriend. Um, he doesn't get headaches or anything when she wears it. And honestly, I am more than happy having the dossier version. As you can tell, I have put quite the dent in this. I wear this to the gym quite a lot. When I, it's basically an ISOE super fragrance, so it's a chemical compound, um, and it smells slightly different on everybody. On my skin, I get this slightly peppery, very bright, almost lemon-like floral effect on my skin. Something about this reminds me of like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but more skin scent like, and it makes me smell really clean and just really beautiful. Honestly, whenever I wear this, I don't have to worry about offending anyone. I'm just, I know I'm gonna smell clean and I'm gonna smell really good. If you've been looking for an ISOE Super Fragrance and not a perfume is just way out of your price range, check out Dossier's version. It's identical in my opinion. Um, and you're gonna get that same lovely ISOE Super clean effect. This is a really gorgeous one and it's a safe bet that you can wear this at the fra or at the fragrance. You can wear this to the gym. It's not going to offend anybody and it's just a really good gym fragrance. If you have to wear something, wear something like this, definitely. You know what? Now that I think about it, I should have done my honorary mention first. I just went straight in. I'll save the honorary mention for last since I just delved right in. It just hit me now. I'm like, wait a second. I was going to start with the honorary first. Anyway, the next one that I'm going to talk about is one from Philosophy, and this one is Amazing Grace. Now, Amazing Grace just smells like clean laundry to me. You really can't go wrong with smelling just like clean laundry, like you just washed your gym clothes. This has notes of bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, orange, freesia, jasmine, rose, and musk. And this is just lovely. If you want to smell just clean, very bright almost laundry like almost like a dryer sheet then this is a really good one this isn't an overtly strong fragrance this isn't going to like choke people out especially when your skin heats up if anything it's going to smell like you literally just washed your gym clothes and they're really cleaned and you use some really beautiful expensive laundry detergent because honestly that's the kind of vibe i get from this i get very clean angelic vibes 
um, and it's just a really good one. If you want to wear something that's just gonna make you smell like clean laundry, get yourself Amazing Grace. It's a really easy to wear fragrance and it's gym safe. Definitely a really good one. The next one is kind of expensive, but I found that I've been wearing this quite a bit to the gym and it's by Aqua de Parma and it's called Osmanthus. This isn't the longest lasting fragrance out there, but honestly, this is really beautiful. If you want to smell a little bit more interesting, a little bit more unique, but you still want to wear fragrance to the gym, do yourself a favor and get Osmanthus in your life and try it out. I found that this is actually quite a lovely, um, fresh, natural smelling gym scent. Um, I love this in summertime. I think it works quite beautifully in summertime, but I really have been enjoying wearing this one to the gym. Quite a bit more expensive, but it's really, really beautiful, and I've been wearing it to the gym quite a bit. It's Neroli, Green Mandarin, you've got Amberette, Peony, Pink Pepper, that Osmanthus note that this has, and Patchouli, and to me, this just smells like you're walking by a bunch of, like, Osmanthus bushes, and it just smells so beautiful. It's floral. It's sweet. There's a slightly indolic feel about this fragrance, but it's never in your face, and it's never overwhelming it's very much skin scent like but very natural smelling at the same time if you want to smell clean slightly green floral slightly peachy because osmanthus has a slightly peachy touch then this is a really really good one it's really quite beautiful and i've been finding that this works lovely for the gym and it adds an interesting uniqueness so you don't smell super basic it's a really, really good one. Heats up quite nicely. I love the way this works. It's definitely not gonna choke anybody out. And you're definitely not gonna get the death stare from Jake over there picking up weights. Um, it's definitely a really good one, you guys. Check this one out if you can get your nose on it. Aqua de Parma Osmanthus. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is one that is also kind of expensive, but I've been finding that I've been wearing this one quite a bit to the gym. I really like the way it performs on my skin at the gym, and that's from Tom Ford, and that is Soleil Neige. Now, Soleil Neige is a flanker to Soleil Blanc. Um, I believe it was the second flanker. There's Soleil Neige um, and Soleil Brulant, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but this is a really beautiful one, and I really like wearing this one to the gym. It's very much a skin scent on me. You've got notes of bergamot, carrot seed, orange blossom. You've got white flowers, jasmine rose. You've got Turkish rose, benzoin, vanilla, and lavandum. And on me, this smells very white floral, kind of creamy. Um, it almost gives me a slight clean laundry-like feel as well, kind of like Amazing Grace does, but with more complexity. Amazing Grace just smells like literally like clean clothes. This gives me that same clean clothes vibe, but the bergamot adds a unique zestiness to it. And the white florals in this really add this interesting, almost creamy-like effect. It's really quite interesting. So like Nasia is supposed to smell like the outdoors on a cold winter day, and it really does give that sort of effect. And I find that it works quite beautifully in a gym setting. You're not gonna get um, crazy death stares if you wear this one either. It's very likable, it's very clean, it's sort of refreshing, and it's honestly a safe wear in the gym. If you just want to smell clean, bright, a little bit floral with this sort of juicy bergamot touch that adds this unique brightness to the fragrance, definitely check this one out. It's definitely a really good one. I really like it, it's a very skin scent like, a lot of people don't want to spend that kind of money um, that this fragrance costs for a skin scent essentially but i have it i love it and i like wearing it to the gym and honestly if you want to be bad and bougie and wear something super pricey to the gym get yourself this one it's really really nice and it's really just i don't know it's a good skin scent for the gym it heats up quite nicely and it just smells crisp clean and outdoors like the next one that i'm going to talk about is one from Atelier Cologne, and that is the tried and true orange sanguine, um, or sanguine, I can never say that last part right. Um, I love wearing this to the gym. This is one of the most photorealistic orange smelling fragrances probably on the market, and it's so, so good. 
This works so beautifully in summer. This is such a happy pick-me-up fragrance. If you ever need a boost of energy, this is literally like a heaping dose of vitamin C straight to your nostrils. It's really good. Um, this was my signature scent for quite a while. I wore this for a long time, for quite a few years. And then I just never bought it again, but I would always buy like little travel sizes, but never a full size bottle. I finally got a full size last year. And every time I pick it up, it's just like so energizing, so revitalizing, so bright and delicious. Like it smells so good. If I could put it as a fragrance, this smells like when you wear this to the gym, this is going to smell like you literally just ate a huge bowl of cuties. You know, those little tangerines. It smells like you just peeled a ton of them and your hands still smell like the sweet, slightly bitter peel. And you got juice all over yourself and you just smell like the sweet orange juice mixed in with the peel feel on your fingers. That's what this smells like in my opinion and it's so freaking good. If you want to smell like you just went ham on a bowl of cuties at the gym, do yourself a favor and get this one. It's really delicious. It's really quite addictive. And I really like it. I don't know. It makes me feel like I just had this really healthy like bowl of fruit and then decided to go to the gym and I'm just sweating smelling like orange juice. Definitely a really good one. Definitely a safe um, wear to the gym if you want to wear fragrance. I highly suggest this one for the gym if you have it. It's pretty expensive um, and a lot of people, like I said, aren't going to want to wear an expensive fragrance to the gym, which is understandable. But if you're bad and bougie and you want to smell like oranges, get yourself this one and just spray it on. Trust me, it works beautifully at the gym. I really love wearing this one to the gym and I love wearing it in summer, especially when I need to pick me up and like a heaping boost of vitamin C. Pfft, screw Sunny Delight. I'm gonna down this. I'm just gonna like, oh, I'm feeling, feeling so revitalized. Ooh, that's what this fragrance gives me. It gives me a very like revitalized vibes. And yeah, that's my list. Now I'm here to the honorary mention. This is a fragrance that I bought, oddly enough, on um, Etsy quite a while back. It was sort of one of those, it popped up and I thought it was interesting. And I was really into ISOE Super fragrances at the time, so I figured why not give it a shot. This one is called he Hedion ISOE Super. Um, again, an ISOE Super fragrance, just like Musky Musk, just like Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. But this one has a heaping dose of Hedion in it. If you don't know Hedion, it is a derivative of Jasmine. It comes from Jasmine. So it is basically, it smells like a white floral. This has a heaping dose of Hedion in it and it has a huge dose of ISOE Super. So it's a combination of those two fragrances um, in one. And this is so freaking good, you guys. This is so addictive, so pretty. I have worn this to the gym so many times and I've actually gotten compliments when I've worn this to the gym um, from random people. This works so beautifully in summer. When you spray it on, this smells like beautiful clean clothes and beautiful white flowers. It's really addictive. Anyone that hugs you is going to be intoxicated by you. I can tell you right now, if someone hugs you or is standing near you and you are wearing this, you are going to smell so good, so clean, so airy, so beautiful, so... This smells like angelic to me. This smells like the angels are singing, people are happy. It just smells so, so good. Like, I don't know. This is one you have to get your nose on. I'm gonna link where I found this. I can't remember the name of the seller, but he creates, or they create, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, um, they create fragrances. A lot of them that are ISOE super based and then have different like notes in them. So like a Hedion, I think there's like a rose one. I think there's like a cashmere version. Um, definitely super affordable. I think I paid like 10 or 11 bucks for this bottle. Um, and it's really, really good, you guys. I was honestly kind of shocked. Um, and I will probably be buying more from that seller in the near future. But if you guys want something that's safe for every day, safe for work, safe in the summer, safe in high heat, safe at the gym, then this is a super beautiful fragrance that you need to get your nose on, especially if you love Jasmine or Hedion, um, and you love Isoe Super. This is like literally both in one get your nose on it. And yeah, you guys, that is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know wearing fragrance to the gym can be a little controversial, but 
I do it. I'm sure lots of people do it. Live your life. You do you. Till next time, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.